Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Barbara. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not your first time, thank you for stopping back. Today I'm doing a seafood boil. Yes, a seafood boil. My husband been working here since the governor said they could go out and cut grass. He's been like a baby because he loves grass. So I'm going to surprise him with dinner when he get home. And we're going to start off with some lobster tail, king crab legs, red skin potatoes, corn on the cob, boiled eggs, sausages, uh, potato sausages, salad, dinner rolls. And we're going to have a nice dessert, a cheesecake. Show, let me see the cheesecake before I show you my lobsters. I prepare my lobster. Now, I don't put my lobster every... I put... My lobster in the oven. I like cooking mine in the oven instead of um, putting it in the water with everything else. But just look at this cheesecake. Yeah, just look at that. It's look at that cheesecake. Can y'all see that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. So here is my two lobster tails. Nice size, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. So, the only thing I put on here is a little obey and some garlic butter, and I put it in the oven. Put it in the oven for about maybe 15 minutes, something like that. Not long, because you don't want them rubbery. And then, um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so y'all seen uh, when I, before I put my lobster in the um, oven, because I do mine like that. So, here's my dish. I don't eat a lot. So I got a king crab leg, some potato sausage, corn on the cob, and um, a lobster in there, and some shrimp. This is the lobster. You never want to cook your lobster too too long. And I have a salad with some um, what are what are these um blue blueberries? In Italian dressing with spinach, spinach and tomatoes and croutons and um, cucumbers. So let me say my prayers. And I thank you for the food I'm about to eat. Make this whole nourish me. And let's get it in, y'all. Let's get it in. So, yeah. My niece always doing something for me, so I want to do something nice for her. So, and this is her favorite dish, seafood boil. So, thought I come on here and uh, but she's still over there doing whatever she's doing, making her sauce and all that. She take all day. I'm about to get it in. Yeah. So, talk to y'all about the other day. I got a phone call, and you know, yeah, my credit kind of messed up or whatever, you know, by me having um the C, which is cancer, whatever. I was off of work. My husband had to take off some days anyway to take care of me and so on and so on. Anyway, I let my credit go bad somewhat. So I'm trying to fix it now. So I get a phone call from um, Community Bank, and they was telling me, you know, telling me I was five months behind, so, so, so. Mm -hmm, okay. If I'm willing to work with them, work something out now, mind you, I only owe them like 150 something dollars. But he was like saying, uh, if I pay $250, I said, well, why don't you take all the late fees off and we could work something out. So after he did that, so it was 300 he said. So then he says $250. So I'm like, okay. Not thinking, I said, well, my bill actually went number 150 with Venus. So I said, um, let me get my card and I could pay 125 now, and then I could pay. Sorry, y'all. My sauce. This ain't be love sauce. I wish I could try it, but I will one day. Mm, mm, mm. I love corn on top. So back to that. So um, 
I said, well, I could pay 125 now and 125 in 14 days. So he was like, hold on. And then he come back and say, well, in 14 days, you had to pay um, 140 study 125. So I'm like, I'm thinking. So I said, why is it so much now? You said 250, 250, 250 is 125, 125. And so anyway, somehow we got disconnected. I tell you, that wasn't number God. So I told my husband, let me call Venus. Let me call them. So I called and I asked the guy, how much do I owe you all? And he told me it's actually 300 and some or whatever. I said, well, could you take all the late fees off and um, I could work with you? And he said, hold on. So he come back. He took it all off. I said, so what do I owe now? He said, 157. I said, well, Community Bank just called me. He said, yeah, we deal with Community Bank. Yeah, they will ask you for a different price than what we will ask you for. I was like, what? So you saying if I pay one fifty seven, my I got a zero balance and my card is still open? He said yes, your card is not closed. I said okay, well I'm about to pay one fifty seven, study two hundred and fifty dollars. He was like yeah, you know. So I'm just letting y'all know if y'all got credit cards, try to deal and y'all behind and these banks are calling and everything. Try to deal with the credit the creditor who you got your credit card with. Call them, ask them can they knock your late fees off and work out something with them before you work out something with these banks and if some of them will and some of them haven't turned you over to a credit um agency either some of them have their own credit agencies inside their own company so i just wanted to give y'all a little tip on that if you owe something you behind just call them and work something out don't deal with the bank that they go through to finance mm-mm so that man was finna get $250 out of me. And I only had to pay $157. And I got a zero balance. And my card is not closed. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. While I'm eating my food. Barbara, could you pass me a little knife to cut my lobster tail? Please. I got my wire. And if you've been here before, I was telling y'all, I have a lot of stuff on my channel. I don't do just um, eating or anything. I also, I'm a crafter, so I do a lot of crafting. I also help people, um, give them a little advice for us, because I have my own business. I have a boutique, which is um, TSK Boutique. I'm on Instagram and Facebook right now. I had a brick and mortar store, but unfortunately, I had to leave that. So I'm just doing it. About to do a new website. So I will be having my website up. But you also can order with me um, on Facebook or Instagram. TSK Boutique. And um, I kind of like learned a lot from that. So I try to help people. They start their business. Help them out with some things I know and that I um, learned from running my store. And... So they won't have to go through some of the things I went through. So I have some um, videos on here also. You can follow, um, look at them videos, like how do you get your dumbs, how I got my um, dumb dumbs up to 100 points. Without paying them a dime, because they will try to get some money. And you don't have to get them now. Trust me. Believe me. I know. And I'm not going to tell you something I don't know. I'm only going to tell you what I what i've been through and what i have experienced so yeah and i like helping people i just feel all of us should um this is my little sauce y'all ain't show y'all my sauce ain't hardly nothing in there because i pulled it in my bowl but I still got some onions and garlic and stuff in there yeah so i like to share things with people without charging them. You can't charge all the time. Mm. Let me try this crab leg. It's a king crab leg, y'all. I didn't get much. It's still some left. So, I just, um,
Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Y'all see that? I'm always getting snow crab legs, but um, my niece been wanting to do some keen crab legs, so. Hmm. I think, um, I think I like the snow crab legs better. Mm. It got a little different taste. Maybe because I'm used to the um snow crab legs. But think of it. But I kind of think I'll stick with the. With the um snow crab leg. So what y'all been doing since y'all been on quarantine? What's all I've been doing is eating, 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 and cooking. And I'm trying to eat healthy, y'all. I'm trying. I know all this butter ain't hardly helping me at all. But I try not to do it too often. Using everybody know I'm a ranch girl. I eat ranch on my salad. I'm trying to switch up. So that's some um, Italian. I am going to start using um, grape oil and a little pepper and just eat it like that. Yeah, Barbie, you eating yet? You want some of this lobster? See that lobster? She's done. Mm. I always take my shell off. I don't need for it. I'm not about to eat it, so I clean my lobster. I do cooking on top of the shell in the oven. But when I'm ready to eat, I ain't got time for that shell. Got to get out of my way. Remember, I told you I got sauce inside my inside my bowl. So can you see that? Yeah. So I'm blessing ten kids that's graduating, making them a or bag. I got. T-shirts, I've been waiting on T-shirts to get delivered. I ain't got here yet. And I was blessed with some friends and family on Facebook that um, they've been blessing me, sending me, um, I, I asked for $2, and they've been sending me whatever, and I really appreciate it. So now I'm able to add more to the 10 kids that I chose from Facebook that's graduating this year and add more things to their, um, to their bag. I think they'd be really happy. They deserve it. They went to school, then this stuff come along. Now they can't go to prime or graduation right now. So I wanted to put a smile on their face. So I wish I could do more for more kids, but it's just me. You know, I don't have much, but my heart is there. So I can't wait to give it to them. There you go. Told you I'm a crafter, so I do t shirts and things like that also. So, 
Yeah. I just got off into this YouTube thing. I, I got a, a quite a few um videos on here. Don't um judge me. It's not the best quality or anything. I get it one day. I have to um do my homework on it and making it better. But it's something. I always put on something on there that I craft that um someone could go on there if they don't know how to do it. And they can learn how to do it also. I got step by step um things on there how to work the silhouette. Yeah. So that's part of me, what I do, a little everything. I just feel everyone should do a little something. You know. I've been looking out this window because my package ain't came yet. A couple of packages. Also, I sell TLC. Total Life Changes. The um, tea in a neutral burst. I don't have it now because I'm waiting on that also. But when I do, I will make a video showing it and me taking it. Because I need to lose some of my stomach. I need to lose some weight. So I'm going to show you my results as I'm going through it and using it. But I can't do nothing right now until I get it. But if y'all know about it and you want to order some, follow me on Facebook. TSK Boutique. And I put up there my website where you could get the neutral burst and the tea from. The tea is the detox tea to detox your body. And we all need that. We need to get our body right. And the, the neutral birth, I'm still learning about it, but it's a vi it's your vitamins to put back in your body after you're drinking the tea. And um, it's really big if you haven't heard about it. And it's really helping a lot of people. And we need to start there. So I'm getting all this out the way. So when my tea come, I got to change my eating habit. All this butter and stuff, I'm, I'm letting go. And I eat um, plant butter, but still, I got to let a lot of stuff go once I detox my body. And everybody needs to detox their body, get their body right. Get their body right. So our immune system, will be, our immune system could be right and healthy. Because a lot of people that I believe in what they're saying is um, part of them not making it due to the C-19 is because they have health problems. And as our people, we need to get our health right. Everyone do, not just our people, but they say we're the biggest one with a health problem. So we need to get that together, y'all, together. We could do it. We could do it. So y'all think about it, detoxing your body. And this ain't just for women, men also. It's called TLC, Total Life Changes. Let's change our life, y'all. Change our eating habit. Change our health. Let's eat right. Get our body detox. Get our vitamins in us. Exercise. Definitely exercise. Like I told you, I was diagnosed last year with... Um, the C thing, cancer. So I got one more treatment, and that's treatment, that's Wednesday. And then um I'll be done with that part. Hopefully I don't need nothing else. The cancer, uh, I was cancer free. As uh they always say use the date um when you had your surgery when they took the cancer out. So mine will be November the 18th. So I got to November 18th to be a year free. So right now, I'm still cancer free. Yay for me. So I really got to eat right, y'all. God is good. I swear, he is so good. He took me through this journey. And I didn't have a lot of complications or anything. So I want people to know that we could do it. We could do it. Just stay strong. Keep your faith in God. And he'll see you through all this. Because he truly been good to me and my family. And my husband been awesome. 
my mom, my kids, little Barbara, my aunt Johnny Mae, my mom, Carrie, every treatment they was right there with me. I really appreciate that. People just don't know. They just don't know what you're going through. So I'm very thankful and, and um, grateful. Some of this stuff on this, I don't like all this. Mm. My hair warm back. I was born. I let my grandson, when I start seeing it coming out, I say, here, just gonna try. If I let him cut some, <laughs> he's like, Mom, your hair coming out. I said, I let him calm it. He's like, Look at that. I said, I know. It's okay. Yeah. Shrimp. Now, these the one I left the shell on right here. Mm-hmm. And the other ones I took them off because I ain't going to lie. I had to clean my shrimp. I had to get all the black little vein out, boo boo, whatever they want to call it. I had to take that out. So I usually don't keep the shell on because if you're keeping the shell on, they're not clean. So my niece likes keeping hers on. And uh, that's all I've been doing. So, subscribe and like. Hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I come on. And I really enjoy y'all listening to me. Oh, I forgot my boy eggs. Dang. I knew I was missing something. I love my eggs, y'all. Miss my eight. No, okay. So, yeah. So, I want everybody to stay safe. Wear your mask, your gloves, stay in the house. You don't have to leave out. Don't leave out. I'm in Michigan. I don't know where you're from. And I feel we have a wonderful government, government, governor. She's doing a great job. She just wants us to be safe. So, she haven't opened up everything. And some people doing going acting crazy they want this to open this though you know come on now y'all this lady doing the best she can and keeping live trying to keep lives alive well i guess it ain't hit them it ain't hit they home so they don't care that's just ignorant you want to care about other people other people's lives not just your. I know it's hard. We all lost jobs and everything like that. But we, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I believe that. This is a setback. I know one thing. It brought families back together. Most, for the most part, um, people praying more, people using their money, some of us using our money wise, wisely, um, not buying unnecessary things. So, we're going to be okay. We're going to get through that. I'm getting full. So, until next time. Till next time, love all and hate no one. And I love you all.